Another monthly bill for millions of Americans. The pause on federal student loan payments is now officially over. Karen Kafa shows us what you can do to prepare for the extra costs. It's October, which means it's time to start making federal student loan payments again after a more than three year reprieve due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Betsy Mayotte of the Institute for Student Loan Advisor says the transition could be challenging for some borrowers. There's been a lot of changes since the pause started that, you know, things like housing and lettuce are a lot more expensive than they were pre-COVID. Mayotte recommends borrowers use the loan simulator tool at studentaid.gov to determine which repayment option is best for them. And remember, the Biden administration has instituted an on-ramp plan, a grace period on missed payments through September 2024. But normally with federal student loans, if you're 90 days delinquent or more, it starts getting reported negatively to the credit bureaus. That's not going to happen during these 12 months. Interest, however, will accrue. Beyond the on-ramp window, Mayotte says to make plans now to avoid default, which happens if payments are not made for 270 days or about nine months. It will have a significant negative impact on your credit report, which can affect other things like buying a house, the interest rates on your credit cards, a car loan, and so on. So default really should be avoided at all costs. Borrowers in default on federal student loans could also see their federal tax refund or even a portion of their paycheck withheld. In Washington, I'm Karen Kafa.